Hello, I'm Bill Oberlin here. Uh, I've been racing for BMW for 23 years. Uh, I'm going to give you a little tour of the Turner Motorsports BMW M6 GT3 car that's been doing so well this year. Uh, the last few races, we've been on the podium three races out of three races. Uh, finished first, second, third. Now we're second in the championship. Let's check it out. First of all, the heart of the car twin turbo v8 reverse flow which means the exhaust is coming out this way the intake is going in this way so if you've never seen that that's very unique very short pulses to the turbo so the turbos are super efficient very effective but they sit right up there all the heat glowing heat right here pretty crazy you're welcome so all the ducting all the aerodynamics I don't. hello i don't think i do filming here oh i'm sorry sorry guys so all the aerodynamics, ducting in, ducting out, controlled, everything from the intercoolers to the radiators to the oil coolers, air filters, you see the air intake for the drivers here. Take a look at the suspension. Double wishbone, Olin suspension, giant rotors, giant AP brakes. Take a look there. You even still run a catalyst. So all the GT3 cars have to have a cat on board and a muffler down below. Take a look where the, uh, the people sit. We'll give you a little bird's eye view here as it livens up. So that's the heart of what we're looking at. You see that what's, what's booting up on the right is the radar screen for what's behind you, the Bosch. So that's a radar, shows us what's coming behind, puts arrows on them, tells you the time in seconds. You don't see it because it's disconnected now of what's behind us. On the left, you can see the N is uh, what gear you're in. The orange and yellows are your tire pressures, what fuel we're using, how much fuel you were using, what map you're in, your, your um, traction control setting, your ABS setting. On the right, it's the amount of fuel you've used, lap time you've done, lap time you're about to do, and water temp of the engine. You look at the steering wheel, we adjust everything from the steering wheel. So you see, we can adjust the traction control, the dash settings, the wipers, the radio on the upper left, pit speed limiter on the right, traction control up on the right, neutral, and the radio button on the right, or the high beam button on the right, and high and flash. And you can see the back of the seat's air conditioned, so it's a little bit of mesh coming through where the air comes through at you. Uh, air conditioning meaning it keeps you at about 110 degrees, so that's, that's good for us. What's new for this car is the seat is fixed, and you look at the pedals, the pedals move. So every driver, we can move the pedals forward and backwards based on how tall you are. And then you take a look, air intakes for brakes. Double wishbone suspension again in the back. Olin shocks again. Everything's got a quick disconnect in endurance racing. So if they got to change the, like Daytona, Sebring, Atlanta, if you got to do a quick brake change, they can do it in basically a minute. Brake pads, rotors, everything in about a minute. Air intakes for the differential coolers. In the back, you have a diffuser. Huge amount of downforce comes from the back here in combination with your big rear wing element, which we tune that for every track. You can see the ducting for your differential coolers, different ECUs. There's your air conditioner sort of towards the front up there under that little box. And then you got all the guys that uh, that run the team here. That's your basic M6 GT3 tour there. Then, when you're on the track, it is powerful. It's got great traction control. The M6, uh, everybody asks me why it's so good. It's got um, the, the best minds at BMW, which is one of the best car companies in the entire world, working on building some of the best cars in the world. And um, this car is going to run a few more years after that. Can't wait to see what's next.